Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you all of the unread books that are sitting back here on my bookshelf. <laughs> Basically, I'm going through my physical TBR today, and at the same time, I'm going to be doing a bookshelf reorganization. So the TBR will go up first, and then this weekend, the reorganization video hopefully will go up as well. But I'm going to be sharing my entire physical TBR with you, and I'm excited. So there's a lot of books on here that you may have seen if you've been watching my channel for a while, and then there's books that I have not shared yet. One quick note from Editing Sandy here. I forgot to mention that I am not sharing any of the books that I have from the 1001 Books You Must Read Before You Die list that I have purchased with the intent of reading in 2023 because those books I will be sharing in an upcoming video for the 52 I select for 2023. So I just wanted to mention that. And I can tell you, spoiler, I missed a couple books in there and I tried really hard to organize them, but it didn't always work out. So enjoy. So I'm going to start with some nonfiction. All right. First nonfiction books are The End of Memory, A Natural History of Aging and Alzheimer's by Jay Ingram. The Effort Diet, Eating Should Be Easy by Carolyn Dooner. Princess Noir, The tumult Tumultuous Reign of Nina Simone by Nadine Kohadas. The Pussy King of the Pirates by Kathy Acker. Body Respect, What Conventional Health Books Get Wrong, Leave Out, and Just Plain Fail to Understand About Weight. More Than a Body, Your Body is an Instrument, Not an Ornament by Lindsay Kite and Lexi Kite. The Body is Not an Apology, The Power of Radical Self-Love, Sonia Renee Taylor. Disability Visibility, edited by Alice Wong. Hungry Heart, Adventures in Life, Love, and Writing by Jennifer Weiner. Regarding the Pain of Others by Susan Sontag. Wake Up, I'm Fat by Cameron Manheim. The 36-Hour Day, A Family Guide to Caring with Persons with Alzheimer's-Related dement Dementing Illnesses and Memory Loss in Later Life. Outdoor-ish books <laughs> are next in the nonfiction set, and they start with Ranger Confidential, Living, Working, and Dying in the Nas National Parks by Andrea Lankford, Between Two King Kingdoms by Suleika Jaoud, Turnaround Time by David Gutterson, Deep Survival by Lawrence Gonzalez, Wind, Sand, and Stars by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, Braving It, A Father, A Daughter, and an Unforgettable Journey into the Alaskan Wild by James Campbell. Adrift, 67 D Days Lost at Sea by Stephen Callahan. The Climb by Anatoly Bukreev. Desert Solitaire by Edward Abbey. Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. The Perfect Storm by Sebastian Younger. Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage by Alfred Lansing. Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. Fat Girls Hiking by Summer Mishad Skog. Where Bigfoot Walks. Crossing the Dark Divide by Robert Michael Pyle. Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. Beloved Beast by Nichelle Myhouse. Fox and I, An Unco Uncommon Friendship by Catherine Raven. The Next Everest by Jim Davidson. Surviving Mountain's Deadliest Day and Finding the Resilience to Climb Again. Riverman, an American Odyssey by Ben McGrath. If I Die in a Combat Zone, Box Me Up and Ship Me Home by Tim O'Brien. Know My Name by Chanel Miller. Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. Sea Biscuit, an American Legend by Laura Hillenbrand. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. The Rape of Europa by Lynn, e Lynn H. Nichols. Helen Keller, The Story of My Life, Madhouse at the End of the Earth by Julian Sankton, Black Klansman by Ron Stallworth, Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, The Republic of Pirates by Colin Woodward, Genghis Khan and The Making of the Modern World by Jack Weatherford, I Am Malala, now I'm almost the last of the nonfiction. <laughs> we have The Book of Hope by Jane Goodall and Douglas Abrams, Baggage Tales from a Fully Packed Life by Alan Cumming. 
All the Frequent Troubles of Our Days by Rebecca Donner, Cleopatra by Stacey Schiff, The Betrayal of Anne Frank, A Cold Case Investigation by Rosemary Sullivan, The Zealot and the Emancipator by H.W. Brands, Outrageous, The Story of Section 23 and Britain's Battle for LGBT Education by Paul Baker, The Codebreaker by Walter Isaacson, The Life She Wished to Live by Anne McCutcheon, Guts by Gary Paulson, When by Daniel Pink, If This Is a Man and the Truce by Primo Levy, Ages for Hawk by Helen McDonald, Blue Highways by William Least Heat Moon, The Last Season by Eric Blem, The Woman They Could Not Silence by Kate Moore, the Boys in the Boat by Daniel James Brown, Becoming by Michelle Obama, Under the Sea Wind by Rachel Carson, Cataract by Michaela Ostici, I'm not sure I'm saying that right, What We Don't Talk About When We Talk About Fat by Aubrey Gordon, Welcome to the Goddamn Ice Cube by Blair Braverman, this is taking forever <laughs> to do. I have a lot of unread books. I'm moving into kind of some fiction. Uh, I apologize the lighting is changing in here uh, because it is taking quite a bit longer to do this than I anticipated. But we're going to move into a bunch of fiction now and all my unread. So let's start with Stephen King. Different Seasons by Stephen King. Carrie by Stephen King. The Wastelands. It. The Drawing of the Three. Close to Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky, Dubliners by James Joyce, The Streets of Laredo by Larry McMurtry, How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu, The Body in the Library by Agatha Christie, The Hollow by Agatha Christie, The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie, A Manual for Cleaning Women by Lucia Berlin, the Story of a New Name by Elena Ferrante, A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway, The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towles, My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshve, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, Oryx and Craig by Margaret Atwood, Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison, Regeneration by Pat Barker, Zorba the Greek by Nikos Kazankakis, H.P. Lovecraft, The Complete Fiction Omnibus, there are three parts to this one, Night of the Living Res by Morgan Talty, All This Could Be Different by Sarah Thinkum Matthews, The Iliad by Homer, The Odyssey by Homer, World Poetry, an Anthology of Verse from Antiquity to Our Time, 1001 Arabian Nights, I have the three volume set of this one. The Histories by Herodotus. The Three Kingdoms, the four volume set. For Romance, I only have one book, which is Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. I have this Roald Dahl um, box set. And the only one in this that I have read is actually Matilda. The rest of these I have not. And they include Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, Boy Tales of Childhood, The Magic Finger, The BFG, Ezio Trot, The Twits, The Witches, James and the Giant Peach, George's Marvelous Medicine, Going Solo, Danny and the Champion of the World. So I have a little Roald Dahl in my future. On to sci-fi and fantasy. The Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Moss. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Hyperion by Dan Simmons, The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. I have a box set of the Murderbot series. I have read the first one. Uh, so the next ones are Rogue Protocol, Artificial Condition, and Exit Strategy, Manhunt by Gretcher Felker Martin, Leviathan Wakes by J James S. A. Corey, Mouse by Art Spiegelman, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, the Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. 
The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, Breathe by Joyce Carol Oates, Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty, Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. Um, John Mandel, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Cherie Jones, The Other Black Girl by Zakia Dalila Harris, The Sentence by Louise Erdrich, The Candy House by Jennifer Egan, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towles, Matrix by Lauren Groff, Ask Again Yes by Barry, Mary Beth Keene, Criss Cross by James Patterson, Alley Cross by James Patterson. The Science of Murder, The Forensics of Agatha Christie by Carla Valentine, Isaac Storm by Eric Larson, The Paris Library by Janet Skysling Charles, This Book Will Save Your Life by A.M. Holmes, I, John Kennedy Toole by Kent Carroll and Jody Blanco, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, The Fourth Bear by Jasper Ford, Still Life by Louise Penny, Mutiny on the Bounty, and The Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Bierce. The Watsons, Lady Susan and Sandition by Jane Austen, The Seven and a Half Deaths of he Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, Legends of the North Cascades by Jonathan Evison, in the Midst of Win Winter by Isabel Allende, The Prettiest Star by Carter Sickles, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead, HHHH by Laurent Binet, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, The Red Tent by Anita Diamant, Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple, Hostage by Claire McIntosh, The Yield by Tara June Wench, Straight Man by Richard Russo, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and Then You Die of Dysentery, Lessons in Adulting from the Oregon Trail by Lauren Reeves. The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, Loop by Brenda Lozano, Rules of Civility by Amar Towles, The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, Maurice by E.M. Forster, Luster by Raven Leilani, the First Bad Man, a novel by Miranda July. Stories We Tell Our Children by Mark Nash. When, Laura, when Life Gives You Lululemons by Lauren Weisberger. Twelve Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz. You by Carolyn Kepnes. Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger. Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. We Are What We Pretend to Be by Kurt Vonnegut, Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman, As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner, Till We, Till we Have Faces, A Myth Retold by C.S. Lewis, The Return of Tarzan by Edward Rice Burroughs, and the last books are the books that I'm actually currently reading, which is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, a Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, Tirant Le Blanc, and the last one is The Rabbit Hutch by Tess Gunty. Oh my goodness. So my bookshelves are now um, almost organized except for these shelves right here. You can see there's a whole bunch of books missing um, from there. They're all on the floor right now. Uh, so I have to try and put all of those away in a way that makes sense. I'm close to having it reorganized in a way that I like, but it is now 6.30 at night. I've been recording this for over two hours. So yeah, it's been a long process to get this out there, but I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the books that I have stacked up. I have so many great books. I'm so happy I have so much space for books now. It just does my, you know, my heart good to be able to have the books that I want on the shelf and not have to worry about whether or not I have space. So, but as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks, bye.